Well, doctors say wearing a mask and more widespread testing is key in order to curb this surge. Well, a Maryland biotech company is developing a test to tell doctors how severe someone's case could be once they contract this virus. How cool is that? Their goal is to help doctors know who needs the most help and potentially save lives. Our Jess Arnold asked the researchers how it works and when hospitals are going to have it. Looking back at the past year, we've seen hospitals overwhelmed. Hundreds of thousands of people dying from COVID. My cousin died on a Saturday from COVID. My mother died on a Sunday from COVID. Same weekend. Maryland biotech company IES Life Sciences, where David Spiegel is the CEO, is working to prevent more stories like his. In partnership with the University of Maryland, the team is developing a test to tell doctors how severe a COVID case could be once they know a patient has it, so they can better focus their resources. How does it work? The team says it'll be a nasal swab like we're used to, but all of the researchers who are working on it, Dr. Robert Figliozzi and Dr. Ronald Jubin, explain the science. We're looking at individuals' immune, you know, their, their total immune health and how they're responding to this infection. And we're grouping them into little groups. And different groups have different severity levels. And then we basically develop an algorithm. So basically what you're going to get, maybe two or three levels, right? So no disease, low disease, high disease. The doctor needs to look at it and say, uh, if I score a, a patient has a 10 or a 1 or a 5, and they need to easily understand what that means. Where is the team at in the development process? The CEO says they're continuing to test more samples as they apply for an emergency use authorization from the FDA, with the goal of rolling the tests out first in Maryland hospitals and then as broadly as they can. It can make everybody's life easier. So far, they've raised money through Music Beats Cancer, a crowdfunding platform that helps researchers raise funds to get life-saving tools for cancer, or in this case, the COVID virus, to market. There's so few sources of funding to support entrepreneurs. So Music Beats Cancer is meant to be sort of a paradigm shift as to how we fight and finance the war on cancer. It's exciting because we, we want to save lives. Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.